I have a comic community tag video up next. Welcome to AA Comics. I am Aaron Baldwin, and as I said in my intro, this is a comic community tag video. Uh, this one is all about first appearances. It's your top 10 first appearances, or 10 of your favorite first appearances, or there's been a few different variations. Uh, Alex the Comic Hoarder started this line of tag videos. I was tagged, and then I believe Automatic Comics also tagged me. Uh, there may have been some others at this point, to be honest. These videos are popping up all over the place. I'm happy to participate. So I have uh, 10 books here, and uh, we'll just get right into it. So first one up, I'm going to start off just like my guy Alex. This is Hawkman number four in a 5-5 five five off-white to white pages. This is the origin and first appearance of Zatanna. Uh, sweet book. Really great book. So uh, I know a lot of people want her on the cover, but this is still a classic. Uh, a book that definitely experienced a bit of a rise during the comic boom. There was some speculation around this book, like every other book at this point. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's leveled off a little bit. Definitely a sweet book to think about getting into. Uh, Zatanna has a bit of a cult following, <laughs> pun, but, uh, so yeah, good stuff. Uh, now, we've got Batman 181 in a 4-5 off-white pages, same grade as you, Alex. Uh, great book, first appearance of Poison Ivy ever. Uh, with this book, you want to make sure it has the pin-up. There's a pin-up poster inside that people used to pull up and put on their walls, so if you're gonna get this book, uh, the price... Uh, varies greatly depending on grade and then also depending on if it is complete with the pinup or not. A classic book. Uh, got one at CGC right now, hoping for an upgrade. We'll see. Uh, Detective Comics 359, another book that Alex had. That's right, Alex, coming for you. Uh, <laughs> origin and first appearance of Batgirl, uh, Barbara Gordon. Just a great book, great cover, really has so much going for it. Mine has a date stamp over here in the corner, which is sweet. Uh, again, the same grade that Alex has. Really awesome book. Uh, I picked this up in a McDonald's. It wasn't graded. No lie, the guy brought it in in a plastic grocery bag. Just kind of casually walked in with it set it on the table and uh, and I bought it from him and I sent it in and got clean pressed and graded. So uh yeah paid just under market for it at the time that ended up being a really good pickup but yeah great a great story behind this book next one up uh, i didn't have an action comics 252 that is a book i would i would love to get at some point but uh alex had an action 252 but i do have an action comics 242 origin and first appearance of brainiac and first appearance of the shrunken city candor uh great great book uh, a book that you don't see as often, at least I don't see it as often. It's around, but a little bit tougher to find. Old Silver. Uh, this is from 1958. Great book. Just great cover. It's got everything going for it. Um, there's a few... I think Superman sometimes gets kind of poo-pooed a little bit. That the keys aren't as good or that he's not as desired, but the big keys are really big. I mean, obviously, there's there's the obvious, you know, like Action Comics 1, Superman 1, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Supergirl and uh, Brainiac, big keys, monster keys. Uh, next one up, FF48. Uh, mine is a 5-5 five five off-white to white on uh, just off-white pages. Um, Alex had a 5-0, I believe. So again, uh, copying Alex. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to deviate soon here. I just, I thought it would be fun to kind of do a compare contrast. Uh, first appearance of the Silver Surfer and Galactus. Cameo on the last page. Obviously, Kirby and Joe Sinnott cover in art. Fantastic. Stanley story. Uh, this is, uh, this is great. Mine is a bit of a spine roll. Uh, slightly... I, I, I don't even know if it's a true spine roll because the book's pretty aligned, so probably not. It's just, you know, the front cover is a little bit more. It's just a bit of a printing thing, but I'm really thrilled with it. 5-5. Five, five. This was a huge trade uh, from Clayface Comics in the community. We traded some monster books, so uh, happy to have this one. That is the first time 
that book is the first copy I ever got, and it's still the best copy I've ever had. So it's a, it's a nice way to get into that book. Um, final book copying, Alex. This is Showcase 22. He had a 3.0. Mine's a 3.5. Uh, Cream to off-white pages. Gil Kane cover. Gil Kane and Joe Galea art. John Broom story. This is the origin and first appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and the first appearance of Abin Sor and Carol Ferris. Uh, Showcase 22 is an iconic cover, an iconic book. Uh, when you think about huge DC keys, uh, Batman 1, Tech 27, uh, even Barry to a certain extent, Showcase 4, those books are whew, to the moon. But this is one that, while a lot, is still relatively speaking more attainable and I think has a lot of potential long term. It's an amazing cover. And I'm glad for that because Green Lantern won with the clown on it, not really feeling it. Going to deviate from Alex now. This is one of my personal favorites. It is Batman 121, the origin and first appearance of Mr. Zero, who later becomes Mr. Freeze. This is a 4-5 cream to off-white pages. Again, this is the true first appearance. So while it did happen in the Silver Age, there is no Golden Age first appearance. This is it, uh, which I think makes it a great book. Book has uh, gone up, hasn't really spiked the way certain Marvel books has, but sort of a slow and steady uptick. Definitely a book I would pay attention to. And if you're thinking about it, I would prioritize it personally. Next up is Giant Size X-Men number one in an 8.5, Cream to Off-White Pages, the first appearance of the new X-Men, Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Thunderbird, second full appearance of Wolverine. I got this in a monster trade uh, with Gary over at Very Gary Comics. This is the biggest trade I have done to date. Uh, happy I did. Happy to have this monster in the collection. A lot of people talking about eventually they're going to come to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We shall see. Either way, it is a book that just continues to rise. So it's an amazing book. A lot of important characters. Uh, next up might be my favorite of the bunch. Uh, this is the ninth book I'm showing. Batman The Dark Knight Returns, the first appearance of Carrie Kelly. Frank Miller story, Frank Miller art. Uh, also can't forget Klaus Johnson and Lynn Varley. Gotta give them credit. Definitely one of the most important Batman books. Uh, and honestly, one of the most important books in terms of what it's done uh, for comics in the modern age. A, a lot of what comics are now oh at least something in part um to the dark knight returns so many videos have been done on this book um, and carrie is actually one of my favorite robins so i think she's got a lot of guts um she's really sharp and i always appreciate when she's in the story she's committed to the mission just like bruce but this is a great book i did a trade with reggie collects for this one i'm glad that i did it saw a rise during the comic boom, and now it has settled back down again. It is, I think, very attainable for what it is in 9.8. Uh, if you're thinking about it, now's a good time. And my last book I think is a little unique, relatively speaking. Um, this is TMNT number one. This is the second print, though. So uh, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's story and art. I have it signed by Eastman. I would love it to be signed by Laird. Uh, Eastman did a little turtle sketch as well. Origin first appearance of the turtles, Splinter and Shredder. Great book. Uh, yeah, I mean, how you can tell the difference between the first, second, and third. So obviously on the inside cover, but also the red's a little different and the blood is a little different on the sword. This is a phenomenal book. Uh, definitely one to look out for because the first print is kind of crazy at this point, to be honest. So happy to have that one. And that's my 10. Let me know what you think down below. Please like and subscribe, share the video. And uh, if you've seen it, you're tagged. I'll catch up with you guys later. See ya.